Okay, what is up guys? So I'm filming on Hero 6 right now, actually. Um, anyways, what's up guys? Cole Townsend here. Today we're doing a walk around video of this 2008 Toyota Tundra. It has a 2010 grill on it. It is a long travel truck and it is really beefy. So let's go ahead, walk around the truck, show you guys the mods and go for a little drive. Okay guys, this truck is on 37s right now toyo open country mts so they're like the tires i have in my truck the rts but they're the more aggressive mt version uh really good tire they're really really big they're 13 and a half wide so pretty big uh he's on the method what method wheels are these standards method standards um really good looking map satin black maybe wheel so yeah so let's go ahead and show you guys the suspension. So the suspension on this truck is Camberg plus 2.5 uh, long travel kit. Pretty sick. He's got Fox 2.5 inch uh, coilovers in here. He's got the DSC, which means the adjustable Fox uh, dampening system for his coilover. And in the rear, he is on the stock leaf spring setup. I'm not sure if he's lifted at all, but he's running Fox 2.5, Fox 2.5 inch, uh, you know what those are called, like reservoir struts, but yeah, I don't know what they're called. Anyways, suspension's sick, pretty similar setup to what my truck's running, where it's a uh, long travel front, mid travel rear. What else? Oh, also, he has a uh, one-inch spacers in the rear. Just give it that right stance with the fiberglass. So let's go ahead and move on to the fiberglass now. So Ron's Tundra is running Fiberworks front and rear fenders. Uh, on the Tundras, unlike the Tacomas where they just actually bolt on and you don't have to like cut your bed, Tundras are metal bed trucks, which means you have to cut the bed in order to get the fiberglass on which is why he has these bolts up here. And then the front, I think they're, they're two inch, or maybe four inch bulge. I think they're four inch bulge, two inch rise fenders. Fiberworks, fiberglass fenders. Uh, they look really good. I like this piece right here because like you have mud flap. So the side of your truck doesn't get covered in mud when you're off-roading. Uh, next thing, the hood. So the hood on this is custom fiber, no, not fiberworks. It's a fiberglass hood. It's custom. It looks really good. It's kind of like a Dodge hood, but like a fourth gen Dodge hood. Um, it's got this big like Ram Air looking scoop in the middle with these two cutouts here. So one of the mods that he's done to this truck drivetrain wise is he did a cold air intake in the front. I'll pop the hood and show you guys that in a second. And also he did something I wanted in my truck, which is 488s in the rear with a Auburn Pro locker, which is like a locker that when it starts to slip, it locks both tires. I don't know if it's like a limited slip or a locker, but that's sweet. I need to get one of those in my truck because the open diff life is not fun. Okay, one of these super sick things in the truck, this uh, American flag is like embossed into the paint. Looks super sick. It's like really subtle, but it's there. It's like just like the little things that make the truck that much better. Kind of like the tinted tail lights or the custom headlights. Or is a company on the back, that little sticker. What we're gonna look at is his lighting that he has. So I'm pretty sure these are stock tail lights. And they're uh, no they're not stock. That's uh these are aftermarket tail lights and they're tinted. He's got the up there, the third brake light, which looks stock. And then for the uh, aftermarket, like off road lighting, he's got the Rigid Industries uh, Midnight Series spots in the back. Or, yeah, those are spots. Those look really good. If you guys look at them, they're kind of like black on there, which looks really good. I like how that like looks when they're not on because it's more subtle, not cheap light bar, kind of like how my truck is. Uh, same pods in the front, the Ridge and Midnight series, up uh, for the ditch lights. And then for his fog lights, he's running 
Rigid Industries dually lights with a uh, amber cover on them. Really similar to what I run on my truck, which is the SA approved, the street legal ones. So Ethan's over here inhaling bugs. How, how's that taste? It's in the back of my throat. It's not salty, so that's good. <laughs> You're gonna the video. Fuck. Yeah. Why'd I even say that? <laughs> okay. Anyway. And uh, for the life in the front, he's got, I think, spider? The spider, right? Yeah, eBay's best. eBay's best spider headlights. Very similar to my headlights, actually, just a little bit different. Because, I mean, it's Tundra, not Tacoma. Uh, it's got this super sweet custom grill uh, with these, like, Ooh, bolts on them that are... I forget what they're Those called. Plastic. They're plastic, but they look <laughs> sweet. Yeah. And then he's got a custom front bumper, pre-runner style. Um, gives it, like, that bulldog front end look. Really mean. But just look how big this truck is, like... That thing is giant. Dude, we need to put them next to next to the Raptor. Which one's bigger? Get the well, I was parked next to a stock Raptor, and they're pretty much the same fenders. I tried to clean out the back so you could even look in there. Okay, guys. So here's the inside of the truck. He's got black leather seats. If I had black leather seats in Tacoma, it'd be so nice, so sweet. Um, light bars. More light bars. And then this. What? The pillar lights over here. Oh, I see it. So these light bar that button right here. Turns on like style of that light bar. And we got this thing. Super cool. It's a PA system. So check check. Fucking ripping it. Quick thing I forgot to mention, this truck actually has a Bully Dog tuner, so it's running a little bit higher horsepower than your stock Tundra would. It's beeping at me from a seatbelt. But this thing's got the iForce V8 in it, not the V6, other than like right here. Um, so yeah. So anyways, before I end the video, let's get some clips of this thing driving and seeing if we can like get a little three wheel action or something like that. So let's get that clip. Isn't that so fun? Holy shit! Okay guys, ready for this? <laughs> this is not a Oh fuck. What up guys? <laughs> okay, the that is here sweet. Run. Run, see <laughs> so that's the PA system. I think that's it for this truck. We got the switches in here. I showed you guys the interior. It's a bad ass freaking truck. And he's, you gotta remove this before the yeah. flight. Before you before you jump it, make sure you take this off. Um, we're gonna do some dune videos one day of this truck versus my truck and the dunes. See who can do better. He's got the That'd V8. be nice, that'd be nice. Once he has a supercharger, he's gonna have a lot more power. But anyways guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe guys, and peace out.